jambo uh, jina langu ni Abdul Karim uh, karibu katika darasa hili in this Swahili lesson we will learn about uh, Swahili conversation at the police station yeah one of our fans here on youtube uh, suggested that I make uh, this conversation, a lesson about this conversation at the police station. Um, before I can, we can continue, uh, I would um, recommend that if you are traveling, either you are here in Kenya, you are in any other country, but in this case, was, we are learning Swahili, so if you are in Kenya here or any other part that is speaking Swahili, and you have a problem that uh, needs to be addressed, maybe it's about crime, it's about uh, it's about uh, just it's about crime you, you feel that this thing is not correct it's good that uh, you report to the relevant authority okay but you can do so um either uh you can do so like uh, you know if it's really really about you you can do so by yourself you go there you really complain to the you report to the police if it's about some maybe group of people then you can look for correct procedure you just don't go direct uh, to the police station and report uh because of your safety that's why i want to say because of your safety if people know that you reported them then your life can be in danger but if you follow maybe you can talk to your friend who is a native and the native can uh you can also go together and you hide your identity because it's about safety uh, of pe people you know what? Uh, when I say this, I, I doesn't mean it doesn't mean that uh, when you see something, don't report. Actually, report, but do do so. Um, how can I say this? Uh, do so like any. It just in the in a unique way. Just don't go around and uh, everyone knows that you're going to report something. You know, but if it's about yourself, it's your right. Go report. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so here in this conversation, uh, we will talk about uh, Rhoda uh, was walking maybe and someone snatched, <clears throat> someone snatched her bag. Someone snatched her bag and her heart. Yeah, someone snatched her heart. The heart was con uh, connected to the bag. Now, uh, when you're walking uh, either in just any part of this country, um, the most places that are very insecure, uh, they're prone to theft is Mombasa and Nairobi. So when you're working, you don't put your phone, you don't hang around your phone, like you video call while you're walking in the streets. Don't do that. Don't do that. Keep your phone far, far or secure. Don't put it in the hand. Maybe you can put it in the, co in the pocket or in your bag and that bag you should very, very hold it tightly when you're working, okay? And also, um, if you are working uh, and someone asked for help, yeah, you're not native, just mind your own business. Someone asked you for help in town. Like, yeah, you know, it's uh, many things are happening in time, but to be secure, actually, these are just a tip. To be secure, just mind your own business. Mind your own business. Unless you know the person. Because uh, some people can be doing that, so you, you never know if it's a trap. If it's a trap, you know, it can be a trap. Someone walks to you and say, I need this, uh, help me. Maybe he's uh, taking your time and uh, other people are coming behind you to, 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 to snatch things from you. So just when you're working, it's good to just mind your own business. Don't, don't concentrate on, on things that are around. Just do whatever brought you to town and go back. So, okay. Now we have here, uh, this is a picture, uh, Macarao official. Macarao official. <clears throat> uh, I took this picture from my YouTube. Uh, there is a YouTube channel known as Macarao. Macarao, Carao is a slang word for police. Carao. So this YouTube channel is explaining to people how the police behave, actually. Makarao, uh, slang slang word for police. Uh, how the life of police is, how they they are really in it, the entire life of the police, uh, how the instances are happening there. So you can watch this one, but it's just in Swahili. It's just in Swahili. Makarao official. So let's start here. 
mazungumzo ya Kiswahili Swahili conversation um this picture I don't know what's happening to this uh katika kituo cha polisi katika kituo cha polisi at the police station uh, we have roda and policy habari za asubuhi afisa habari za asubuhi afisa good morning Officer, policy, nzuri sana. Good, very good. Uh, Roda, afisa, ningependa kutoa tarifa ya uhalifu. Ningependa kutoa tarifa ya uhalifu. I would like to report um, a crime, uh, a crime, like a crime story or a crime information, tarifa. So you can say ningependa kutoa, I would like to give or oh, ningependa kuripoti tarifa ya uhalifu i would like to report um, a crime information <coughs> okay policy unaweza kunieleza kilichotokea unaweza kuniole unaweza kunieleza kilichotokea uh, can you explain to me what happened rona nilikuwa nina nilikuwa natembea barabarani wakati mtu alipoiba kofia yangu iliunganishwa na begi langu nilikuwa natembea barabarani wakati mtu alipoiba kofia yangu iliunganishwa na begi langu i was walking on the road when someone a person took uh, stole my heart my heart uh, iliunganishwa na begi langu that was attached or that was connected to my bag Polisi, asante sana. Unaweza kuelezea mtu aliyeiba kofia yako iliunganishwa na begi lako? Asante sana. Asante sana. Unaweza kuelezea mtu aliyeiba kofia yako iliyounganishwa na begi lako? Can you explain? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Can you explain someone um, who stole your heart that was connected to your bag so kuelezea is to describe can you describe elezea eleza explain elezea describe elezea elezea roda uh, sina uhakika sikuona sura yake vizuri sana lakini nadhani alikuwa kijana na alikuwa amevaa fulana nyeusi na suruali ya hudhurungi. I can put here alikuwa kijana mwanaume. Mwanaume kijana. Sawa? Ya, alikuwa uh, sina uhakika, sikuona sura yake vizuri sana lakini nadhani alikuwa mwanaume kijana na alikuwa amevaa fulana nyeusi na suruali ya hudhurungi sina uhakika i'm not sure sikuona sura yake vizuri sana i didn't see his face well lakini nadhani but i think alikuwa mwanaume kijana he was a young man uh, this word kijana means a young person so this to be specific is specified here mwanaume. Most people think when you say kijana it's a man or a boy, but kijana actually is a young person, either a lady, a man, just a young person. So that's why Roda here specified mwanaume kijana, a young man. Na alikuwa amevaa fulana nyeusi na suruali ya hudhurungi. Na alikuwa and he was amevaa wearing fulana nyeusi na suruali suruali ya hudhurungi. Fulana nyeusi is a black t-shirt. Black t-shirt. Suruali ya hudhurungi. Hudhurungi is brown. So uh, the, the pants were brown. He was wearing brown pants. You know? Suruali. Policy. Begi lako na kofia yako iliunganishwa ikoje? Your bag and the kofia, uh, the heart that was attached, how are they? 
roda begi langu lilikuwa jeusi na ndogo my bag was black and small na kofia yangu iliunganishwa ilikuwa ya rangi ya blue yenye mistari ya kijivu and the hat that was connected or that was joined was of blue color and it had uh, gray strips gray strips roda mm, policy sawa na nini kilikuwa kwenye begi ya begi lako sawa na nini kilikuwa kwenye begi lako okay and what was in your bag roda simu ya mkononi this is a mobile phone simu ya mkononi uh, simu ya mkono au simu ya mkononi pochi it's a it's a uh, wallet pochi miwani ya jua sunglasses na funguo za nyumba yangu funguo za nyumba yangu uh, my house keys funguo are the keys policy sawa hii ilitokea sangapi okay when was this happen when did this happen roda asubuhi hi asubuhi hi this morning policy ni swali la kijinga lakini lazima nifanye hivyo it's a silly question but i have to do it kulikuwa na mashahidi wowote kulikuwa na mashahidi wowote wa there any witnesses roda hapana nilikuwa peke yangu no i was alone so it's advisable not to walk alone avoid dark streets avoid them when you are alone policy sawa tutafanya kila tuwezalo tutafanya kila tuwezalo okay we will do everything possible or we will do everything we can roda na unafikiri unaweza kupata begi langu na kunipatia leo and do you think you can get my bag and give me uh, today policy tutajaribu usiwe na wasiwasi nipe namba yako ya simu na tutaendelea kukujulisha tutajaribu usiwe na wasiwasi nipe namba yako ya simu na tutaendelea kujulisha kukujulisha we will try don't worry usiwe na wasiwasi nipe namba yako ya simu give me your phone number na tutaendelea kukujulisha we will continue informing you or giving you the information roda sawa namba yangu ya simu ni 0701 Bili moja, sita, ne, tano, nane. Okay, my number is so this is how we read the phone number in uh, Swahili. Sufuri mo, sufuri saba, sufuri moja, bili moja, sita, ne, tano, nane. Just we just read the way they are. You can you can either uh, find any other uh, method of saying the any other uh, formula for saying the number or memorizing the number. Yeah. Polisi, sawa, nimerekodi namba yako. Tutaendelea kukujulisha. Okay, I have recorded your number. We will continue informing you. Sawa, asante sana, kwa heri. Kwa heri. Uh, down here, I have put English translation here. I'll put the description section so you can, while you're watching uh, the video, or you can also read the translation for the English part. And uh, now the second reading, I just want to read without English so that you can see uh, how you understood this. Uh, you can see how much you understood this. And after that, I'll also try to explain some of the details, uh, some of the words that we encountered this lesson. Okay, let's start. Mazungumzo ya kiswahili katika kituo cha polisi. <clears throat> Roda, habari za asubuhi afisa polisi nzuri sana Roda, afisa ningependa kutoa taarifa ya uhalifu polisi unaweza kunielezea kilichotokea Roda, nilikuwa natembea barabarani wakati mtu alipoiba kofia yangu 
iliyounganishwa na begi langu polisi asante sana una kweli una actually this police should not say asante sana you should say pole sana oh my god pole sana pole sana yeah sorry okay a uh, roda a polisi pole sana unaweza unaweza kuelezea mtu aliyeiba kofia yako iliyounganishwa na begi lako roda sina uhakika sikuona sura yake vizuri sikuona sura yake vizuri sana lakini nadhani alikuwa mwanaume kijana na alikuwa amevaa fulana nyeusi na suruali ya hudhurungi polisi begi lako na kofia yako iliyounganishwa ikoje roda begi langu nilikuwa jeusi na ndogo na kofia yangu iliyounganishwa ilikuwa ya rangi ya buluu yenye mistari ya kijivu roda polisi sawa na nini kilikuwa kwenye begi lako roda simu ya mkononi pochi miwani ya jua na funguo za nyumba yangu polisi sawa hii ilitokea saa ngapi roda asubuhi hii polisi ni swali la kijinga lakini lazima nifanye hivyo kulikuwa na mashahidi wowote roda hapana nilikuwa peke yangu polisi sawa tutafanya kila tuwezalo roda na unafikiri ninaweza kupata na unafikiri unaweza kupata bagi langu na kunipatia leo um, can you think uh, do, uh, and do you think uh, you can get my bag and give me today uh, policy tutajaribu we'll try uh, tutajaribu usiwe na wasiwasi nipe namba yako ya simu na tutaendelea kukujulisha roda sawa namba yangu ya simu ni sufuri, uh, sufuri saba sufuri moja mbili moja sita nne tano nane polisi sawa nimerekodi namba yako tutaendelea kukujulisha roda sawa asante sana kwa heri asante sana kwa heri Now let's see uh, how how much did you understand this conversation how to what extent let's explain some of the uh, of the words that we have we might have encountered here um okay the word here roda addresses the police as afisa when you go to the police you don't say you can say police but it's polite to say afisa or you can say afande afande also means sa afande but you don't address police as buana buana is uh, for other occupation uh, you are mister in other occupation you can say mister abdul karim but in police case the language you don't say buana police buana say afande and when you are responding like yes you don't say um just yes you say ndio afande ndio afande or ndio afisa ndio afisa now here afisa is a word okay or afande uh next uh unaweza kuelezea uh, which other word can you explain here kofia iliyounganishwa ah, kuunganisha is to join iliyounganishwa is that is joined that is joined that is joined iliyounganishwa kofia iliyounganishwa sawa 
Uh, okay, okay. Pikilango ilikuwa jeusi ndogo sawa sawa. Uh, simu ya mkononi is a mobile phone. Mobile phone, simu ya mkononi. Mobile phone. Uh, which other word here? Okay, okay. Other words, actually, I explained at the beginning of the video are uh, safety precautions when you're working and uh, reporting things are uh, in yeah in, in anywhere here, either here in Kenya, in, in the, any other place. Okay. Now things have gone digital. Uh, you can just report online, and everything will just be okay. You can report online. Things have gone digital. Uh, so this is all for today's lesson. Uh, we have learned the conversation at the police station. In the next lesson, we'll meet in another lesson. Kwaheri, kuwana, wakati mwema.